Let me have five minutes of your time. So let's start the clock here, file, new preset. And for today's engine, let's do the harmonic engine because technically this is a saw wave. And if you want to get really technical, they're all sine waves. So I'm gonna stop talking and start making some shit. Okay, so you know what would be really cool? Let's, that sounds weird. So what would be kind of cool, let's put some LFOs on both of these. Let's change this LFO to unipolar. And let's turn this all the way to the right and this one all the way to the left. So we get something like that. Let's make this free running. Okay, let's have macro number three control that speed because that might be kind of cool. That sounds about cool. So say speed for that one there. Now let's go to the effects section here. And I'm so happy because there is now super unison and that is really awesome. Okay, our envelope really, really sucks. So let's change that. Oh, this is getting weird. Okay, so reverb, let's go to Chorus Juno 6 because I like doing this. Let's get another one because I like doing this again. Change the phase though, that's that's for the, that's for the meat and potatoes. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too much of that modulation. So maybe let's go something like that and kind of, ah, maybe kind of just back it up just a little bit. Okay, that feels a little bit more natural. So what else could we do for the effects here? Oh, gotta love delay, so let's do delay. You know, I'm going to use this delay, just one delay, but I'm gonna do an eighth note, ping pong, a little bit of fine, and change our cutoffs here, something like that. And then do first a, first an EQ. and then some nice reverb. Maybe a longer release. Okay, so let's map our macros here for FX4, so one, Two, three, so this is about halfway here, about 50%. Let's do something like that. It's kind of right th there on the side, about on there on the side as well. Delay, let's kind of just eyeball these things in the, in the name of time, right? So something like that, kaboom, kaboom. Let's turn the effects on. Label that effects. Okay, so back to our sense. So let's pick a good filter. Something like this, maybe let's see what the Juno Jupiter 8 sounds like. It's either that or gonna be the matrix. I kind of like the Jupiter 8, it's a little, little smoother, I think, for this patch here. So let's do our macros like that then. So the cutoff and then the res, and let's label these accordingly. So cut and then res. Okay, boom, boom. Okay, and the resonance, let's get a good amount here. We don't always need to use it all. And what's kind of nice with pads like these is to have a nice envelope here to kind of just give it a little bit of motion. But we should have a sustain. We slower attack. And then actually slower release. And then a little bit of keyboard tracking, something kind of like that.
a little bit less uh, envelope. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, dang it, we're done. Okay, pencils down, everybody. Let's see how we did here. Let's bring up our volume and let's listen. Okay, so we used the harmonic engine. So let's see, what else do we use for effects here? So let's let's play the name of that harmonic, harmonic unison. Ooh, that sounds like harmonic unison. Okay, so if you want to get harmonic unison, then there is a link in the video description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.